Huh? Joe, get your hump on. That's absolutely right, John. I'm hanging out. This is Ruby. Come on, get your head up here. She's actually eating for two or maybe even three. She's so pregnant. She's about ready to pop, and that means she's making some camel's milk. There she there is. There she is. Look how beautiful she is. Do you want some, want some snacks? There we go. Crunch, crunch, crunch. We're talking all things camel milk when we come back live here at Indian Creek Camel Farms in just a little bit. Wow. That is a baby camel right there going ahead and nursing from her mother. That's Libby right there trying to get some camel's milk. And you know what? This is actually how they have to start the process of milking camels because it's actually a very difficult process to do. And to explain a little bit more about that, we've got Joe. He's the owner here at Indian Creek Camel Farms in Lambertville. So tell me a little bit about the, how difficult it is to get some camel's milk. Well, it is pretty difficult. Most uh, goats and sheep and stuff, they drop their milk, and you don't need the baby, but we need the baby to suck on the teats, to stimulate the natural oxytocin to drop down. Once she does that, then we can actually start milking. And you, it, so it's actually a process that, that takes a long time for you to get a very small amount, right? Correct. Yeah, we'll get about uh, milk twice a day, 5.30 in the morning, 5.30 at night, and we get uh, about two gallons a day on a good camel. And we're going to start doing that right now. We've got a little device. Can we get set up? We do. All right. So we're going to get set up right now. Uh, what are you grabbing right now? I'm grabbing some uh, wipes to wipe the teats off before we hook on okay. the milker. And I'm going to have you help here in a second. Okay. Here go here. ahead. Go ahead, Mike, and let's get her off of there. We're going to take baby Libby off here. She's stealing our milk right now. Well, she needs to grow up big and strong. <laughs> <laughs> How many camels do you guys have around here? We have 15 right now, and we have... Uh, the other one that's pregnant that should have a baby any day, today or tomorrow, whatever. And we're wiping these off right now, getting okay. the teats clean. Okay. This is our milker. This is a cow milker that's been adapted a little bit for camels. And um, it actually turns up the speed a little bit on the pulsation so we can uh, work it. It's, there was no books on uh, milking camels, so we had to kind of figure it out on our own. All right. So each one of these goes to teat, I guess. So, Correct. Uh, how can I help you? Um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go on the other side, okay. and I'm going to let you put this on. I'm going to put two on the other side, and you're going to put two on this side, and uh, we're going to get ready to mount. Okay. All right. Here we go. Uh, my first try at uh, milking, milking a camel, guys, so uh, wish me a little bit of luck here. So I've got this device here. He's going on the other side. We fired up the machine. All right. Getting some suction out of these. And there we go. I don't know if you guys can hear that in there. Oh, we're actually getting some. Oh, oh. <laughs> there we go. Ah. As you can see, it's coming out of the machine right here, guys. Coming right down this hose. It looks like, Joe, looks like we're getting a good setup here. We are. Wow. we got a great flow. To, she hey. must like you. All right. Well, thank you so much for giving me some delicious camel's milk. When we come back in just a little bit, I'm going to try it, tell you how it tastes. Maybe I'll want to pour some of my cereal, maybe in your coffee, when we come back here at Indian Creek Camel Farms in just a little bit. John, Abby, back to you. All right, Jed. That's absolutely right, John. I'm actually here with AJ. He's a one-year-old male camel, and he just loves animal crackers. Who would have guessed? Well, you know what goes great with animal crackers? Camel's milk. And well, that's what I just did just a little while ago. I went and milked my first camel here. And I'm here with Joe here with Indian Creek Camel Farms. Camel's name's AJ. Where do you get names for camels? Well, we ran out of we ran out of names. We were thinking one day, and we said, you know, we might as well call it AJ uh, Allen Jr. after Allen Brass. So that's uh, that's a little. Uh, um, I'm sure he's going to appreciate this. And you know, we just milked this camel. Let's go ahead. Let's step back here a little bit. And so we've got the milk in this container. What's our next step? Our next step here is uh, this is a camel's milk that we've milked. We're going to bring it up here. So we're bringing it up here. It's uh, there's uh, not a whole lot in there. I mean, you. Yeah, it, uh, camels are not like cows in that, and uh, they give uh, um, up to two gallons a day. This uh, this is really tough on her because if I just switch me milk into somebody else, she's not going to produce as much. And with all the camels, uh, cameras in that today, but uh, it gives you a little bit of taste and show you what's going on here, what we do. Okay, so it's in this here, and then uh, it's being filtered, correct? Correct. Yep. So, this is being filtered. Oh, oh, you can see it right there. So this is all freshly, freshly filtered, and you don't need to pasteurize this. This isn't. This is uh, this is unpasteurized milk, and. Uh, um, pasteurization takes a lot out of it, so we don't pasteurize this. Uh, um, we use this, we drink it, I drink it every day. Drink, you drink it every day. I now, do. so this is good to go. This is. So I could just go ahead and yeah. get a little taste test for you guys really okay. quick here. My first taste of it. It's 
That's pretty good. It's really different. Like, it's not what you'd expect, but it is pretty good. I could totally expect putting this in my cereal in your coffee. If you want to go ahead and get some of it, Indian Creek Camel Farms where we're at. We're going to be here the rest of the morning. Back to you guys in the studio. I'm loving it too, John. But it's not just camels here at Indian Creek Camel Farms. But we do want to start with them right here. Here's Rosie. Do you want some dessert to go with your breakfast? A little camera shy right now. Already got your mouth full. She's being polite. That's what she's doing right here. Joe, I came here to talk to you a little bit about these these beautiful camels. Are, and uh, these are one hump camels, right? These are. These are dromedary camels. These are one hump. And uh, there's dromedaries and backgrounds. Backgrounds are a two hump camel come out of uh, China and Mongolia. And so you guys, this is obviously your main attraction here. But you do have several other furry critters. And I just heard one belt right now. Yeah. Let's talk about, what's, who's this? This is, uh, this is a Tunis sheep here. All right. Oh, she's walking away from us. She's also a little bit of a camera shy. Let me step across really quick. Oh, there she goes. These sheep here were uh, brought from Africa, and uh, that was the main sheep that was here till about the Civil War, and they were almost wiped out uh, from eating them during the Civil War. They hit a few of them in Maine, and the breed's coming back now, but it's a tuna sheep that was uh, imported in the 1600s. And she's absolutely gorgeous and very, very soft, as you can imagine, but honestly, Kids got to love what's on my right right they here. They do. They love the Grant Zebra. Everybody likes zebras. You see the kids with the zebra purses and the bedspreads and the whole nine yards. This is Mikey. This is one of three zebras that we have here. Um, we also, you know, we have the zebras. We have emus. We have wallabies. Um, Almost quite a, few quite a few animals. It's actually a very amazing zoo. It falls under that classification. They are an official zoo up here in Lambertville, Michigan. You can find them on Facebook at uh, Indian Creek Camel Farms. Just search for that. You'll find them right here. When we come back in just a little bit, I'm having more fun with all of these adorable critters. You don't want to miss it in just a little bit, guys. All right, Joe. Wow. That's a great live right. shot. Joe! is up. Hi guys, and, uh, how's it going? On <laughs> <piece. laughs> I'm just riding off into the sunset, guys. <laughs> oh, okay. oh my God. Well, they tried to do me a favor and uh, let me get up here on top of Gracie, but she's definitely having a case of the Monday. She's indoors right now. Typically people give it a nice ride on her outdoors. And uh, so she's a little irritated right now with me, but as you can see, Gracie's a little bit thick in the middle, and that's because she's pregnant. She's got a little one on the way. She's about three months pregnant. They could be pregnant for about a year. Oh, there she goes. Oh, Kush. Now, he's saying Kush, and that's the, uh, the typical uh, command for them to either sit or stand, correct? To sit. To sit down. They have been working so hard. Oh, there he goes. She's getting back up, guys. Whoa, there we go. Whoop, just... <laughs> Riding my camel live on TV. <laughs> These are the things that are going to happen, guys. But we're having a great time here at Indian Creek Camel Farms. They do a lot of great stuff with the community, a lot of stuff with Bedford High Schools, and that it's a fully accredited zoo. You can find them on Facebook. Check out Indian <laughs> Creek Camel Farms. You go ahead and search for it right there, and you're going to see some really cool stuff. they got some amazing animals. And you know what, guys? We might even have a surprise for you in a little while later on in the week. Oh, and Gracie wants to go, guys. So I think that's going to have to wrap things up for me. Back to you guys. <laughs> that is great, Joe. That, that is a live shot right there for Joe's Reel. That, that is a is keeper.